This video is going to be showing you an example problem using the buoyancy force. A fishing boat has sunk in 22 meters of water. So at the bottom of a harbor, it's at the very bottom, 22 meters beneath the surface. The boat has a mass of 2,150 kilograms. A ping pong ball has a mass of 2.47 grams and a diameter of 40 millimeters. So the question is, how many ping pong balls would need to be injected inside the boat in order for it to float upwards with a net acceleration of 2 meters per second squared? So every time I add a ping pong ball, I'm going to be adding mass to my boat. So I need to account for how much mass I'm adding with each ping pong ball. I also got to remember that the boat's just not going to float there. It's going to accelerate upwards at 2 meters per second squared. To begin with, I'll start with the free body diagram because I'm talking about forces. I'll have the buoyancy force going up due to all the volume of the ping pong balls. And going down, I'll have the weight of all the ping pong balls. That's why I have sum of sigma mass of the ball times g. That's the weight of all the ping pong balls. And then I also got to include the weight of the boat, which is mass of the boat times g. Now remember, in this problem, I'm accelerating upwards. So when I sum up the forces in the y direction, I have m a net. It's not equal to zero because I'm not sitting still and I'm not moving at a constant velocity. It's accelerating upwards. And that's equal to the buoyant force minus the weight of all the balls minus the weight of the boat. So when I look at this, the mass that's floating upwards that's accelerating is a combination of n times mass of the balls, where n is the number of ping pong balls. So in this equation, n is that number. So n times the mass of the balls plus the mass of the boat, that equals the total mass of everything that's moving upwards that's accelerating, and that's times a net. And that's equal to the buoyant force of each ping pong ball. So n is the number of ping pong balls, and rho vg is the buoyant force for each ping pong ball, each single ping pong ball minus the mass, or the, sorry, the weight of all the ping pong balls. So again, n is the number of ping pong balls times mg for every ping pong ball, and that's minus the weight of the boat. Throwing in my numbers, so I got the same thing. Now what I'm doing is I'm substituting in for the volume of the each ping pong ball. It's the 4 thirds pi r cubed times g, otherwise my equation remains unchanged. Throw in all my numbers, converting everything into kilograms and meters. Um, G I left out of here, it's 9.80 meters per second squared, but I left off the value just so it would fit on the screen. And remember, N is the number of ping pong balls. Then what I'll do is use some algebra to isolate my N's and pull them over with the distributive property. And I find out that I need 84,777 ping pong balls inside my boat in order to float my boat up with an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared.